Welcome to the demo of 24B feature. Search for create and edit a standard item work definition using Redoot user experience in Oracle Future Cloud Manufacturing. With this enhancement, you can now efficiently create and update discrete and process manufacturing work definitions for standard items using Redoot user experience. As a result, you can create a work definition for a standard item in fewer steps, manage work definition operations, operation outputs, operation items, and operation resources using a grid experience. Search faster and filter work definitions, which significantly reduces the time to launch a new or updated work definition through user productivity gains. This is the high level demo flow. After logging in as a manufacturing engineer, in work definitions, user experience, we will see a list of work definitions where the user can take several actions on the work definitions. Then we will create a work definition by entering the header details, add operations, review the auto assign components, of the work definition operation item and manually add components to work definition operations. And finally, review the resources and add resources to work definition operation. In addition, we will also review guided journey enabled in work definitions. I have logged in as a manufacturing engineer. We have enabled the profile Redwood work definitions enabled. So from the task menu, when you click on manage work definitions, it will bring the Redwood user experience. We are in the Redwood work definitions user experience. You can see a list of several work definitions here. User can select and take several actions on work definitions. So they can deactivate, deactivate, copy. They can print work definition report, edit the work definition priority, manage versions and delete as well. Let us create a new work definition. Let us start by mentioning the item name. You can see the item structure as well as completion sub inventory has defaulted. Let us create, select the work definition name. We'll create an alternate work definition and we can see the production priority has defaulted to 11. Let us start date user can add attachments by dragging and dropping them here or they can add the URLs let us click on the create button to create the work definition header we are in the operation step the placeholder has placeholder operation has been automatically added. User can use this operation by renaming if required, or they can delete this operation and add new operations. Let us plus rename this operation. We'll add a few more operations. So operation 20 and operation 30, these two operations are 
standard operations and the attributes for the operations are getting automatically defaulted from the standard operation definition let us select the save the work definition the work definition is being saved and while it was saved seven out of nine items has been automatically assigned we'll go to the operations operation item tab and see the details we are in the operations items tab it has two views assigned item tabs and item structure tab we are in the assigned items tab and as mentioned we can see seven items out of nine items has been automatically assigned user can take several actions from here they can add ad hoc items they can also edit the attachment and view substitutes from here next let us view the item structure tab Where in the item structure view user can view the list of items from the item structure here as mentioned earlier we can see the seven components has been automatically assigned and these components were assigned to different operations based on the suggested operation sequence in the item structure there is a feature automatically assign item structure components to work definition operations based on which these items were automatically assigned to operation 10 and 20 you can defer the related demo for more details about that feature the two components which were not assigned uh, we can see them here let us quickly assign them to different operations as required let us save the details user can take several actions from here they can see the unassigned components and they can based on the supply type they can find out different components that the that are there in the item structure they can also find out the mismatched operation sequence next let us click on the operation resources tab to view the details of operation resources there we are in the operation resources tab we can see that two resources has been automatically assigned for operation 20 and 30 as we used standard operation definition there and based on the standard operation definition these resources has been automatically assigned here user can add new resources here or they can take several several other actions like they can edit attachment view alternate resources let us quickly add a new resource first operation 10 they can also view the alternate resources from here based on the uh, they can quickly find out the scheduled resources that are there or the comp resources that are costing enabled similarly resource type also can be quickly found based on the uh, filter chips provided here let us save the details With this, we have created an alternate work definition for item AS5488. Now, let us review guided journey in work definitions. If the guided journey is enabled in work definitions, 
guide me button appears in work definition user experiences here documents external url video etc can be added to guide users perform their task more effectively for example here we have added a link to the external website similarly a document or a video also can be associated to guide the users perform their task more effectively with this we are at the end of the demo thanks for watching this 24b feature demo